Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here at Mossvale down in the Southern Highlands to begin a part of the Extremity series. We're going to do Mossvale to Goulburn and all the stations in between including Exeter, Bundanoon, Penrose, Wingillo, Toulong, Maroolan and Goulburn. Originally I had a plan to do this all by public transport, however it was quite outlandish. However I will describe the plan to you right now. Originally the plan was to drive to Maroolan Station and start there at 5.50am and then take the train from Maroolan up to Penrose, tick off Penrose, before taking a train back down to Toulon. After Toulon you'd catch a bus, one of a few of the day, 813, from Toulon up to Wingello, before another train from Wingello up to Exeter, then a bus from Exeter to Bundanoon, another bus back up here to Mossvale to tick up Mossvale, then a Murray's coach down to Goulburn, before finally the last bus back to Maroolan, ending up at about 1pm in the afternoon. It took me a fair amount of time to work on that plan, but I eventually decided not to go with it and just to drive. Anyway, uh, this is Endeavour set N13, and uh, yeah, a bit chilly down here in Mossvale, it's about oh, 10, 12 degrees, so a bit chilly for a November day, but you know, I don't mind the uh, nice sight and scenery that is Mossvale. It's a, always a nice station, lots of tracks that don't really have any purpose anymore, and this beautiful picnic sort of area in between the two platforms here at Mossvale. Mossvale Station opened as Sutton Forest on the 2nd of December 1867. It was later renamed to Mossvale Station in 1877. The station was added to the New South Wales Heritage uh, Register on the 2nd of April 1999. Mossvale Station is located 106.6 kilometres from Central Station Platform Number 1 and it is the terminus of most of the Southern Highlands trains operations. Some trains do continue to Goulburn, however they are infrequent at best, and there are also the Canberra Explorer services and the daily Melbourne XPT, as well as the service to Griffith, which comes, I believe, twice a week now. In March of 1999, a specific uh, fueling and stabling uh, facility for Endeavours was built here at Mossvale. In terms of bus connections, there are a few local routes as well as coaches which go to Wollongong and also down to Goulburn. However, these are infrequent services, so it's best to check the timetable if you are going to come check the station out. Endeavour set N13 is due to depart at 11.07am bound for Campbelltown. Here, of course, is the view from Platform 2, facing south towards Goulburn and facing north towards Sydney and towards the Triangle, towards the Wollongong branch. We've also got some more original station signage here. Yeah, uh, Mossville Station has all your typical facilities, toilets, all your boards. It doesn't have any electronic ones, I don't think. It's got the original sort of ones. Waiting room hours, open from 3am and 4am. This station is staffed, opal readers, vending machines, Telstra phone box. Yeah. Overall a pretty nice, neat, well kept together station. It does look like there's a bit of uh, work happening at the moment. That endeavour is not due to depart for another 30 minutes, so I think I'm going to continue on towards Exeter and the rest of the stations along this section of the line. So our next stop on this journey is Exeter Station. Alright, after a short 15 minute drive, we are now here at the station of Exeter, and it is quite different to anything else 
I've seen anywhere else. You've got the original sort of station signage, a lot of uh, the original buildings here, and most notably, the platform is not at, well, apart from this little section here, uh, sealed. It is actually all rocks. Uh, you've got some station seating there, uh, an emergency help point, these opening hours which state that the station is never open. However, the toilets appear to be open, which is odd. Bins. That's the male toilet. Yeah, the toilets are open 24 hours a day, but uh, there's no staff around. And again, this is a Exeter, so it is quite a small town. This is the view facing towards Goulburn. And the view facing towards Moss Vale. Here at Exeter we have the station guide with all the local area map and the guide of the station as well as an up-to-date track poster and we have the Southern Highlands Line timetable. As you can see quite clearly here on uh, Monday to Friday here we are at Exeter Station. There is a service at 6.19 and 8.23 and then there's nothing until a bus at 2.30 and then a train at 8.43 and 10.13. And then on weekends and public holidays, it actually gets pretty worse. It gets uh, 6.45, there's a local bus at 9.58, another one at 1.30, 3.36, 5.28, and then 9.56. And then going towards Goulburn, you have this 6.17 a.m. service then a 9.33 a.m. service and then nothing until 6 p.m. at the 6.24 p.m. service and the 8.13 service. So in terms of getting to Goulburn from here it is pretty hard to actually do. But uh, yeah, that's uh, it's a pretty good uh, view of the timetables here. Uh, it's a nice station. There is a level crossing here for pedestrians, so it'll be easy to tell when a train's coming. This is platform one facing towards Sydney. This is platform two that I'm showing you now, and that's facing towards Goulburn. So yeah, definitely a different kind of station. There's not much around. It is a small town, so yeah. Exeter Station was opened in 1878 as Badgery Siding. On the 12th of August 1890, the station was renamed to Exeter. Exeter Station is located 721 metres above sea level and is approximately 115 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform No. 1. The station is heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April uh, 1999. Here we have the Exeter signal box, the station building and a little waiting shed on Platform 2. And here is the view of Platform 2, which is a bit more grassy. One of the more modern station signs. Very basic facilities over here. This is the little waiting shed. Yeah, seems about it. Yeah, looks quite nice. Keep the wind out. Yeah, this is Exeter Station. It's not much happening on the main south today, so we might keep on going on. I wouldn't be surprised if this video is shorter than the other extremities videos, but yeah. I don't know why, but for some reason this end of Platform 1 is raised, but none of Platform 2 is. Anyway, I think that's all for Exit Station. It's quite a nice little station. There's not much happening here, so I think we're going to move on to Bundanoon. See you there. Alright, after a short 10 minute drive, we've now arrived here at Bundanoon Railway Station. 
London Noon Station opened as Jordan's Crossing on the 6th of August 1868. The station was renamed to Jordan Siding in 1878 before being renamed to Bundanoon, finally in 1881. Bundanoon Railway Station is heritage list and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. This is the station building here on platform number 2, which has some diagrams. Doesn't look like it's been open in quite a while, however the toilets are open. They always seem to be open. Oh no, 6am to 6pm apparently. Odd. Uh, yep, this is the view facing south towards Goulburn. The timetables and station guide. There is a signal box, I believe this is it here. Possibly. I don't know. But, um... Essentially, and up until 2002, there was a service that ran from Campbelltown or from Sydney and terminated here at Bundanoon and uh, it actually used that set of points up there to terminate on platform number one. However, uh, after 2002, this service was uh, discontinued and uh, the signal box was closed and um, those set of points were locked out of use. Garden Noon Station also has a range of bus services that connect the local town to Mossvale, as well as one a day that runs from Toulon all the way to Mossvale through Bundanoon and back again in the afternoon. It's about 8am from Toulon up to Mossvale and then about 3 in the afternoon it comes back from Mossvale down to Toulon. The Canberra bound Explorer also stops at Bundanoon Station upon request. I've made quite the classy error. This is the signal and points box up here. Shortly passing through platform number one, we'll have double 81s on an aggregate train bound for Malden from Pepper Tree Quarry near Maroolan. Eighty-one forty-eight and eighty-one thirty were the two eighty-one class locomotives on that train. Bus eight one three to Mossvale, operated by Berrimah Bus Lines. And we have now arrived at the quiet town of Penrose. This is the station right here. has a brand new level crossing by the looks of it or at least recently installed within the last five or so years this is the view facing north towards Sydney looks pretty decent and the view facing towards the station and Goulburn looks pretty sparsely populated let's go take a look at what's available here at Penrose station You've got an opal reader on each side of the tracks. Quite a steep climb up to platform one here. Not exactly wheelchair friendly. 
You got the timetable and the station guide. Singular seat, another seat, a bin, an emergency help point. Yes, not much here at Penrose. Like many of these stations, it seems like there's not many facilities. It's a little waiting shelter, I think. Keep you out of the wind. I don't know what that is, and then another proper one in here. Yeah, it's Penrose Railway Station. Uh, no tactiles, only a yellow line. Platform 2, for whatever reason, is quite significantly longer than Platform 1. It looks like it actually fit, almost fit, a full car endeavour on that. And this is, yeah. And you've got a little box here, that's the uh, original sort of signage. It has a freight rail sticker on it. It's pretty cool. Yes, this is Penrose. It's facing south, Goulburn. Facing north, Sydney. Penrose Station is located 126.8 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform Number 1. In 1869, the station opened as Cable Siding. On the 1st of June 1871, it was renamed to Penrose. The station was moved to its current location on the 15th of March 1916. Much like the sparsely populated uh, surrounding area and uh, the station itself not having much going on, the rail line is also quite empty at the moment, with not much coming for at least 30 minutes. So to keep things interesting, I'll keep on moving. Our next stop is Wingello. And we have now arrived at Wingello. Any sort of recording of railway history here begins in on the 1st of June 1872, when a siding was opened. A station was built here at Wingello in 1882. And this is Wingello Station. It is, of course, heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. These are the buildings. That is Platform 2 there, facing towards Goulburn and facing towards Sydney. A couple of historic-looking signs. Got the toilets. A much more heritage style of seat. A waiting room. Of course, it's not staffed, as I said earlier, due to the infrequent services in this area. It doesn't seem like there's much point in staffing stations. Yeah. As a level crossing here for the street and access to the other platform is via that level crossing. So you have to exit, use the level crossing, across and walk up the road to enter there if you want to change platforms. But uh, it's not really an interchange, this station. Of course, you've got your uh, regular old maps and signage. And the village store. And the signage. Yeah, it's a pretty quiet place where not much is going on. There are a couple of trains that we're expecting soon, so we'll just sit around and wait for them because I like this straight here. It's very nice. As of August 1st, 2002, this station no longer sells tickets. Huh. Interesting. Wingello Station is located 131.9 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform Number 1. We have 1225 Pacific Nationals Limestone train passing through Platform Number 2 here at Wingello.
is 2T105 on the lead and 2T101 on the uh, trailing locomotive. We have some 81 classes passing on 2226. Right, we've now made it to Toulong. This is Toulong Railway Station, facing north towards Sydney. It's quite a bare bones station, much like Penrose. It's got some signage, emergency help point, bins, a waiting shelter on each platform. That's platform one's waiting shelter there, and this is the one here for platform two. These are quite small towns, and uh, if I'm honest, I'm glad that I took the car rather than doing this all by public transport. I think it would have been a much more boring experience. But, you know, uh, it's definitely an interesting one, nevertheless. So, yeah, that's the entire station, and this is facing south towards Goulburn. Of course, there is the pedestrian crossing. We shortly should have the... Uh, um, ex Canberra Explorer bound for Sydney passing through and as well as a Melbourne Wollongong steel train but yeah this is uh, Tholong Station Tholong Station opened as a small halt in 1869 as Barber's Creek Tank a platform here was opened on the 16th of April 1878 surprisingly despite how sparse the uh, station is they the building here is heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. Tolong Station is located 138.7 kilometres from Sydney Central Platform number 1. Got all your typical signage including maps of the local area and timetables. This is really quite a small quiet town like most of the stations on this line between Mossvale and Goulburn. And uh, interestingly enough, this level crossing isn't actually protected. It doesn't have any boom gates. So, yeah, this makes for a nice angle to see trains. And this is the view facing south, further south, towards Goulburn. As you can tell by that board down there, the maximum speed limit here is for is uh, 140 kilometres an hour. I would assume that would be for the Explorer and XPTs only. But yeah, this is the view of Tolong Station from the crossing. Not bad. Shortly we'll have 4MW7 passing through Tolong, bound for Wollongong.
That was SP33 and SP41, both bound for Goulburn. At Goulburn, the trains will split. One half will go to Canberra and the other half will go to Griffith. We have Pacific Nationals Garbage Train 2120 with locomotives 82 and 81. National 81 classes with some grain heading south. <laughs> We've now arrived at Maroolan Station. Maroolan Station opened on the 6th of August in 1868. The platform here is platform number 2. This is facing towards Goulburn. This pedestrian crossing here was installed in April of 2014. They got the sort of original sort of seating in there. See? And uh, yeah, this is the Maroolan Station. Platform number one is shorter than platform two, but uh, yeah, that's Maroolan Station for you. It is, of course, heritage listed, like almost everything else on this train line, and has been since the 2nd of April 1999. Got a small waiting shelter here, your typical timetables, boards, all of that, and Station guide, yeah. Blue seat. Whatever reason, an extra large no smoking sign. Yeah. Ruland Station. The more original signs are down here. For a little walk. This is the view facing towards Sydney. And there's also that sign down there. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, there's not much, not much action happening here in Maroolan, so we're going to continue south to the final station on this journey, which is Goulburn, which I've been to a fair amount of times, but one more time, why not? See you there. And we have made it to Goulburn. Goulburn Station opened on the 19th of May 1869. It is located 224.9 kilometres from Sydney Central platform number one. Goulburn Station has three platforms. However, platform number three is rarely used nowadays, with platform one, the one I'm standing on, and platform two 
being the most commonly used. The Melbourne bound XPT and the Canberra bound and Griffith bound Explorers as well as the Sydney bound XPT stop here as well as the occasional Endeavour running up and down to Campbelltown and the terminating service coming from Sydney every day. There's also a disused uh, dock platform here at the end of platform number one, which you can see here. Goulburn was at one time a railway hub with many branch lines, for example, one going off to Crookwell, and it became a major centre for this area. And with the opening of the line in the 18, uh, the opening of this line down to Albury and the connection with the Victorian Railways in 1883, Goulburn became a major hub and was a major boost to this town. Unfortunately, from the peak of the mid 20th century and towards the end of the 20th century, the branch lines began to close and the services began to decrease, which meant that the hub that Goulburn was for rail has now become a shell of its former self, which is quite unfortunate. Goulburn Station is of course heritage listed and has been since the 2nd of April in 1999. We have some 81 classes passing through Goulburn, heading north. Okay, we are just south of Goulburn Station, and for the final train of this video, we have 1311. it up for this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe subscribe to my friends channel subscribe me on all social media links to that back to my channel thank you for watching this video bye bye for now